A lymph node biopsy is not enough to render a diagnosis of multicenter Castleman disease. You have to see the features that we referred to, the regressed terminal centers, plasma cytosis, and vascularization, but you also need to make sure to exclude other disorders that may be causing those same features, and also make sure that there's enlargement of multiple lymph nodes. The diseases that can, can mimic multicenter Castleman disease and can cause similar histological features include Epstein-Barr infection and other viral infections in, in the herpes virus family, uh, malignancies such as Hodgkin's lymphoma and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, and finally autoimmune diseases such as rheumatoid arthritis and systemic lupus can also cause the same exact uh, histopathological findings. It's extremely important to distinguish multicenter Castleman disease based on whether it's HHV8 positive or HHV8 negative. To find out that a patient is HHV8 positive, you should perform either LANA1 staining or PCR for HHV8. If these are really the two gold standards. If you find that there is positive LANA1 staining or PCR of HHV8 in the blood, then you can be confident that this patient their multicenter Castleman disease is driven by the HHV8 virus. If you don't find either of those, but you do find a positive serology for HHV8, that really is uninformative. The, the population within the U.S. has anywhere between 5 and 10 percent of individuals infected at some point in their life with HHV8. So a positive serology is uninformative because just because they have encountered the virus at some point doesn't necessarily mean that the virus is driving their multicenter Castleman disease. So even though HHV8 positive MCD and HHV8 negative MCD are not driven by the same inciting factor, they both have extremely similar clinical features. From one end of the spectrum, patients will present with low-grade inflammation, night sweats, fevers, but all the way to the other end of the spectrum, patients can have um, uh, intense inflammation requiring ICU stays and multiple organ dysfunction, so liver, kidney, and bone marrow dysfunction.